I was in Seattle visiting my wife's uh, family, uh, and uh, they are regular listeners, by the way. Oh, no. So, yeah, shout out. Oh. to No, no, they are. Shout out to the Powells in, uh, in Seattle. They are lovely people. They put on a great Thanksgiving uh, feast for us all. And I had a really good time. And I love being in Seattle, as yeah. you know, because my genetic structure insists that I be in a cold, wet climate. Yeah. And um, my body is screaming at me all the time I'm in Los Angeles, get away, get away, get away. And then when I'm up in uh, what basically is Northern Ireland, <laughs> AKA Seattle, uh, mm -hmm. I'm very Zen. I really love it there. And isn't the people there, are very nice. Isn't there, this is going to be a downer. Isn't there just a high suicide rate because of the weather in Seattle? Only when I'm in town. <laughs> <laughs> suicide what? rates peak when I show up. People are so upset you're there. They... <laughs> well, no, I didn't say there was any linkage. They oh. just said that there's a huge spike when I show up in town. Oh, wow. That's yeah. why during Thanksgiving while you were gone, I just wanted to live. <laughs> <laughs> also, Rates plummet in LA when I leave. Yeah. Um, but I had an interesting moment where I was in the airport and, uh, you know, you go through, you, you have your bags and you you check them in. My wife and I had, and kids had bags that we had to check in because we brought different stuff. We had brought bigger bags. We couldn't we couldn't bring them on the airplane. So we uh, were checking the bags in and the guy said, hey, uh, I just want to thank you. Uh, he's the guy that was checking our bags and he said, I want to thank you. You've been... Uh, You've been speaking truth to power for a long time, and you brought down a lot of really bad dudes, huh? you know, with your truth-telling on the air. And I thought, <laughs> he has the wrong guy. I know. Who do you think I, you I, are? I don't know. I have Larry never King? I have never spoken truth to power. What? I've been foolish and silly around power, but it was just really, he, and he really, I couldn't say anything. I didn't want to say, sir, I think you have the wrong person, because he was so happy to meet me. And he just said, "You've taken a lot. You've taken down a lot of strong, a, a lot of like bad men." What? Um, yeah, and he went on and on about uh, how I'm like a crime fighter with my career on television, and I didn't say anything, and then walked away and felt bad. Yeah, <laughs> he so didn't. Weird. He literally didn't speak. Yeah, truth he basically to him. just thanked Captain Crunch for all the good he's done. <laughs> I don't even know who he would have. Confused Maybe you he's with. talking about know. Stephanie Powers. I don't know who he thought I was, <laughs> but uh, somewhere in Seattle, there's a guy who really <laughs> idolizes me because I brought down the mob. Oh. <laughs>